showing you exactly how to download Worst for 1.21.9 because yes, it has already updated. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website, worstclient.net. This is also going to be linked down in the description below. Together actually with my Discord server where you can find many more clients just like this one, so I highly recommend you join that. Anyways, here on Worst website, you want to click on this download Worst button and then select Worst for Minecraft 1.21.9. Choose the latest version over here, in this case there's only one, so that's quite easy to do. And then scroll down until you find the downloads section. You want to click on this black button to download Worst Client for 1.21.9. And importantly, you also want to press on this white button here to download the Fabric API for the same version, as we're also going to be needing that. Now, as you might have been able to guess by the fact that you need to download the Fabric API, you do also need to have the Fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.9. If you don't have that yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it right down in the description below. Anyways, right now, as you can see, I've got the worst client as well as the Fabric API in my downloads over here. And from there, it's really simple. We just want to put these in the mods folder. So press on Windows and R and then type in app data, just like so. Then we want to go into the folder called roaming.minecraft and then into the mods folder over here. Simply drag in worst client as well as the fabric api and once you've done that we can close up both of these open up the minecraft launcher and launch fabric minecraft 1.21.9 and just like that here i've got minecraft 1.21.9 fabric pulled up and i'll now just head to a random single player world to quickly showcase this oh wow i forgot i still had my config loaded well i guess this is a kind of cool demonstration of what worst client can do Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, as I said, I'm going to showcase how to get started using Worst Client. However, if you want a full in-depth tutorial, then I have actually already made that, and I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, to get started, you want to press on the right shift button on your keyboard, and this is going to open up Worst Client's Click GUI area. This contains all the utilities. We can click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off. And you can actually click on this little arrow area and you'll get access to their customization menus. Um, these contain a whole lot of customization, which is pretty neat. I highly recommend you look through that. Anyways, furthermore, hovering above these utilities is actually going to give you a brief description of what they do, which is definitely quite useful. And for the rest, I mean, it's literally that simple. That's around 80% of the client right there. But it's not actually all. As you can see, there is a search function right over here if you would want to look for something specific. If you scroll down a little further, then you'll notice that uh, the alphabetical sorting starts again, but they're all prefixed with a dot. Now, if one of these modules is prefixed with a dot, that means it is a command and we can type it in chat. For example, dot help right over here. So let me type um, dot help in the chat and then I can get um, a list of worst clients commands, for example, that is pretty cool. And now for all these commands, if you want to find out exactly how to use them and what they do, simply go into here and then it'll tell you. Now this one, I guess, wasn't very informative, but here this, I guess, is a little more informative. As you can see, we've always got the syntax as well as a description of what the command is going to do for us. Now scrolling down even further in here is going to restart the sorting again. These at the very bottom are more general utilities. As you can see, you can disable worst, for example. You can manage um, the worst logo and, for example, turn it off. This is the logo showing right over there. You can add actually more elements to your HUD, which is this area right here too. There's a few more things you can do down here. These are more general, so I do recommend you check all of them out as they um, do also allow for more client customization. Anyways, that is still actually not all because on the pause menu, there's actually a worst options button over here where you can view mainly the keybinds, x-ray and zoom managers as well as some other links over here. Those are all quite useful too, especially the uh, x-ray one if you want to choose exactly what you're going to be x-raying for. Anyways, for the rest though, that was basically that on how to get started with the Worst Client. Um, as I said, the best way is just to check out everything that Worst Client has because 
it's it's a lot anyways for right now though that was basically that thank you ever so much for watching and i do of course hope to see you all again in the next one bye, -bye.